Okay, so we got the shingle going on this morning. About two hours in, we got the main structure and the shingles wrapping up the small accents. You can see the garage is getting done right now. We're gonna have this done in about two hours. So about five hours altogether, the house is shingled. We have the windows going in also. And uh, we're gonna have this sealed up with the uh, doors in place, the windows in place, the shingle on the roof. That's all coming together. All right, here it is. Day five. We can start the framing. We got the roof shingle on. We got the windows and the doors in. Look at this place. What a difference. Style. We got the accent over there. Look at all the peaks, the bump outs. Look at the detail here. This is a little Cape Cod. Completely turned inside out. Look how nice this came out. Okay, so on the lower end by the foundation, we are gonna, in, in the front, we're gonna install a decorative stone down on the bottom foundation portion all the way across from left to right. From there up, we're gonna have a cedar impression siding and on the sides in the back, we're gonna do a double five. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can see this old set of steps. It's not gonna look old when we get done with it. From the even with the top of the steps all the way across, we're doing a decorative stone, which is a dry stack stone. We're gonna go across to the garage. When we end that, we're gonna have a full nose shelf right on top of the stone, and then we're gonna start our siding application. This place is gonna look unbelievable when we get done with it. Okay, you wanna go inside? Let's go take a look at the layout of all the rooms throughout the two floors. We're still cleaning up, but we're gonna work our way around it. Okay, so as we open up here, we're still cleaning up this area. We're just finishing up, it's late day five. And immediately you can see the open foyer here. We have the bedroom over here, which is the, it's gonna be a bedroom office for a guest. And then as you open up the door here, there's gonna be a beautiful staircase going up with railings, full open foyer. Then it's gonna open up to a full-size dining room right here. Look at the size of the dining room. Beautiful arch into the kitchen. It's gonna be completely open looking straight back. And as you walk into the house here, look at the floor plan. I mean, it's completely open. We're gonna have the guest room over there, be on the bathroom full bathroom, you have a fireplace with the family room area, full kitchen, full kitchen, and an island over here. Okay, so let's go upstairs. We're gonna take the ladder up. This has been cleaned up, so we are good to go here. And as you get to the top of the stairs here, you got a full seven foot open foyer here. Three bedrooms, two baths, and a laundry. And here's bedroom number one. Great size closet here. And as we walk across, we turn around. You can see again the open foyer. Beautiful window. Got recessed lighting up here. This place is gonna look fantastic. We got the bedroom number two. Two four foot doors. Six foot closets. And as you walk down here, back into this large foyer, we have the washer dryer. We're gonna have a sub panel right over here. And then another full-size bathroom. Two sinks, we have, everything's marked out. We're ready for utilities. We have the toilet, we have the tub over here. Everything's marked out. You can see all the orange that represents our HVAC system. It's already been discussed. We're gonna have that run next week. We already have our dryer vents in, our vents for our bath fans, everything's already in. 
This opens up, we have a double door here going into the master and take a look at this ceiling in the master bedroom. Look at that raised ceiling. We have a 22 inch perimeter with a 45 degree angle on all four sides up to a 10 foot tray ceiling on the top. This place, when we sheetrock it and install a crown molding, put our recessed lights in, this is gonna look amazing. As you walk further into here, there's gonna be a double pocket door right here. So it's a four foot opening, opens up into the master bath suite. You can have the walk-in closet. It's gonna be an island here. And as you turn, right here, and look at the bathroom. We have custom shower, double sink. We got another pocket door with the commode toilet and linen closet. And then we're gonna have a self-standing tub Nice awning window above it. A lot of size here, a lot of room. And as you look up here, we position the pull down stairs in the master closet out of the way. And you have almost a 10 foot height in that attic up there.